Okay, hi, welcome to the first in the series of Riff of the Week. We're going to start with... Smoke on the Water. Uh, perhaps the most famous guitar riff of all time. Um, we're going to play it firstly on what I like to call easy level. So um, if you're a beginner, you can probably just try it on easy level. And then um, we're going to work up to more difficult ways of playing it for the more advanced players. So uh, what I want you to do is just play the low E string here. And then we're going to play the open string, followed by fret 3, and then fret 5. So we're keeping everything all on the same string. I want you to play O, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3. Here we go now. O, 3, 5. Then the next part goes... O, three, six, five. Let's put those two bits together like this. One, two, three, four. O, three, five. O, three, six, five. That's the first half done. Then the second half goes. O, three, five, three, O. So when you put the whole thing together, it goes. O, three, five. Six five oh three five three oh. It's a slightly slower version for you to try and play along with. One, two, three, four. And that's what I call easy level. Now, going up to medium level, you play exactly the same thing, but play on the G string. This puts you in the right key to play along with the original. So we're going to play on the G string, the same notes. Try that with me. We'll do it slowly first. One, two, three, four. Once you get the hang of that, you could try playing along with the original. So you can stay just on the G string and try playing along at the original speed with the original track by Deep Purple. If you want to move up to what I like to call hard level, then you, what you're doing now is playing two strings at the same time, the G and the D. Now you can do it with your finger and thumb like this. You could do it with a plectrum. must just play the two strings on their own together. So firstly just practice that. Or making sure you can hit those two strings without touching any of the others. And then you need to think about the other hand. How are you going to cover both strings at the same time? So you can do it with a with a lying down finger or you could do two fingers, one on each string there. I don't mind. Whatever's more comfortable for you. And then you just play the same fret numbers. go. Okay, now, if you fancy trying it on expert level, what we're going to do is also put in the bass line. See if you can play that and a tune at the same time. This is for the experts out there. One, two, three. 